Warning, this podcast contains spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCNN TV podcast for Sleepy Hollow, Season 2, Episode 11, Akita. I'm your host, Dom. Akita. Akita? <laughs> Shakita <laughs> Banana? Shakita. I, I'm your host, Dom. With me is the lovely Miss Cleo. Hello. And uh, down there is Pat Michelle. Hello. What up? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm not lovely. No. I realized that I didn't have anything equally as good, so I just was just like, let me deliver that as flatly as I possibly can. We'll, we'll go with the, the two two contrasts. Lame. He has absolutely nothing nice to say about you. <laughs> you can't say anything you're nice, don't say anything at all. <laughs> okay, okay, so let, let me start over. Uh, the, the lovely Miss Cleo. Hello. So, how's it going, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Very good, actually. Marvelous. Mm. Yes. Marvelous. What did you guys Marvelous. think of this episode? I so love this episode. So good. This episode... <sighs> kind of a game changer. Yeah, so many turns. I hate the fact that I gotta wait, what, three months for a whole new episode? Maybe two and a half. Yeah. I don't care. Unfortunately, this was the mid-season finale. We do have to wait for more. But, uh... Bright side, this was a really damn good episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll, let me start off by what was your guys' favorite scene? The end. The end. Yeah, like the last second. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into that right now because we shouldn't, you know. No, okay. let's let's do it. We'll hit the big thing first. The we'll, we'll, the beginning of the end. So. Well, because yeah. Henry freaking turned on Moloch and said, "Screw you." He did. You're gonna you you want me to kill myself? No, not gonna happen. That. Yeah. All right. It's not that I didn't see it coming because I think we've all kind of been like, can he be redeemed? That was like the big story that we were exactly. trying to like yeah. determine this whole time. Like, is he too far gone? But we saw hints of him having this, you know, humanity left to him, and yes, you know, this whole time. So it wasn't like a, a super big shock, Mm-mm. but it was more that the way it was delivered. Yeah. It's like literally the final scene of the show, and you're like, it's like what? The faces, the faces of Ichabod and Katrina, they're like, oh god, they're talking about us, we're terrible parents, but I'm like, no, no, he's talking about Moloch's bad father. Yeah. Moloch is Abraham, and, and, and Henry's Isaac. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. I mean, what what does this mean now for Henry? It's that. <laughs> I don't know. It depends on if Moloch is really dead, if he has a plan Z, if. Uh, <laughs> depends a lot of We're going to have to go into the Greek alphabet next. Moloch's going to have yeah, a plan. Exactly. He's going to have to Lambda. double up the letters. Yeah. Lambda, alpha. Yes. <laughs> no, but I think maybe he Charlie. might be on their side now. I don't know. I think seeing as Moloch seems him as like, replaceable. At any point yeah. and any time, it's like, well, then, okay, so well, what's it, the point of me helping you more than... No, it brings up the whole point now useless. that we already have uh, <clears throat> a missing player on Team Witness, mm. so he could be the next horseman. Yeah, so Irving... Um, oh, you think Irving's going to take up the mantle of war? Yeah, possibly. Maybe, maybe that actually makes a lot more sense because I know we were spitballing. Maybe he'd take uh, pestilence. pestilence. Yeah, but it he, makes more sense for him to take war because he also had dream premonitions of that kind of sword fighting or whatever in the middle of like a uh, condemned earth. That's true. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I mean, we've seen those premonition dreams always come true, but they're not always exactly the same right like abby's was her mother in the her, her mother was in the the ruins where they found the sword mm-hmm. but when they actually find the sword her mom's not there yeah. right yeah yeah uh i thought the the whole sword itself actually was was had an interesting twist on it you know the wielder 
sacrifices themselves to kill whoever they slay. Yeah. Well, sacrifices uh, their soul. Right. Which technically, when we have Irving, Irving use it, it's like, oh, well, I don't have a soul, so. Well, yeah, technically. Yeah, his soul doesn't belong to him anymore. Right. He can't give it. Right. Yeah. It's not his to give, so he's able to wield it and slay whoever he needs same, to. Yeah, same thing with Henry. Well, his soul's he, not his. He slayed Henry's avatar, you know, the, yeah. the horseman avatar. So yeah. that that horseman is dead. Um but what did what did that what were the ramifications of that to Henry? Hey, all we saw is Henry like grab his arm in pain when like the arm got chopped and then like uh, like, did it have any lasting effects, or was he just feeling the, the temporary uh, effect of it? I think he loses a, a significant portion of power from it, because the the armor is, it represents the power that Moloch's given him, so I think now he's only got his own witchcraft left. Right. Which is not, you know, a small amount, but mm. it's not nearly as much as uh, Moloch had given him. Hmm. Yeah. Um, what... With uh, Irving being the one that, that slayed him and everything, what, like what is what is the his soul's future at this point? Like, is Moloch's just gonna take it and turn it into the Horseman, or because he gave it to Henry, he didn't give it to Moloch. That's true, and he uh, now I forget what what Henry said was in the like fine print, but it was something about him being conscripted into War's army. Hmm. Uh, but since War is dead, technically... Also, we don't know if Moloch's alive. I think it's all got everything, every question we have hinges on whether Moloch survives being stabbed with that sword. I'm gonna assume Moloch is alive. I, me, I, me too. Because I don't think he's, he's gone this easily. He's got a plan. He's always got like a Million backup plans. Yes. Because <laughs> I mean, if if not Malik, right? If Abraham is is the only villain that we currently have. Yes. Which I think, like Henry, he can be redeemed. Yep. Yeah, but currently, you know, he's locked up, and we have uh, Katrina, kind of sweet talking him. Yeah. And it's at the point where she's doing it behind Ichabod's back. Ichabod overhears it. Mm-hmm. And. Well, he would just not like that. <laughs> oh, he's he's not he's so, not happy about this I mean, at all. None of that. His that unraveled it so quickly. It did, and see, when Ichabod and uh, Katrina are just like, yeah, let's stop being us, like being a couple, and let's just be soldiers in this war or whatever. Like, I didn't even feel bad. I don't know if I was supposed to, but it's like, to me, this show is not about. Ichabod and Katrina. This show is about Ichabod and uh, Abby. Mm -hmm. Abby, yeah. I mean, I I felt bad because I like both of them, and I don't think either of them are being bad spouses. I just think it's terrible situations. Mm -hmm. And she's definitely still just trying to get information about Abraham. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. She <laughs> claims I, don't know. I like them both so much. She claims that. she's just trying to get information, but I know. Yeah, we, but we don't know I if she has. Her. We don't know I if she has other mo motives. Yeah, but I think they're trying to focus, you know, just on the, the the main point here on hand. I mean, yes, the relationship means a lot, but I don't think she's trying to get oh. as much information now. I think it's more of almost sweet talking him to become part of their team. Hmm. Yeah. That too, maybe. Because he could be a very valuable asset if he's on their side. He oh, could. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, but Ichabod broke bro the... Or was it... Yeah, he broke the broke the axe. I was like, no! <laughs> I love that axe. <laughs> I mean, the, we that axe came over with him, right? That was the first time we see him was with that axe. He cut the sheriff in half. Yeah. Yep. You know? The head yeah. off. He, yep. When we first see him, like, stomp across the battlefield towards Ichabod, he's got that axe. Yeah. It's yeah. his one weapon, or one main weapon. So, I mean, if he's the, the um, last uh, villain that we have on the show right now, you know, he's he's kind of bound up. They they already have him uh, constrained. We He's not much of a threat right now. 
I mean, yeah. they they go they go and look for Holly this episode, right? Nick's off partying in in his bar or whatever, and <laughs> you know he supplies them with weapons. Oh, Katrina ends up uh, enchanting these weapons to allow them to use in the battle, and that battle was was kind of cool, you know. Unfortunately, oh, yeah. that battle's what cost Irving his life. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's still, you know, yeah. still a great scene. But like I said, we're, we'll probably still see Irving again, like you guys said. Um, yeah. But uh, uh, they left Holly to to go watch over the Horsemen. I know. It's like this isn't a party. Don't don't be you know having your friends over to come look at him. Or I, I don't even remember what she said at this point. Yeah, no, she said something like that. She yeah. was like, "This isn't a she party." She spoke to him like like he was her teenage son. Yeah, <laughs> she was leaving the house to him. Do you realize what you don't you're invite your friends over? Do you realize this? How important it is. Like this is no freaking joke. Mm-hmm. This is not you, you know. This is not a guy who plays a little pan flute. This is not a guy who, you know, does little magic tricks. This is a guy who... This is a who... motherfucking horseman of the apocalypse. Yes, like literally. It was raining blood. <laughs> this is a guy who can fuck us up for real. Yeah. Healing blood. Healing blood, lightning I think that's crazy. <laughs> so good, though. What so was good. that, Cleo? I, I'm just having trouble hearing. Oh, yeah. So you guys can keep talking. Yeah, no, you're... <laughs> Sorry. It looks no, like you're like you're cutting in and out a little bit. Slightly. Out. Slightly. Yeah. I um, my connection's also good. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's all good. I can't wait to see if Ichabod actually starts riding motorcycles now. That was the best line of the episode. I, I want know. one of these. When this is over... I, I want, want one. one. I know, with his British accent and his cute little outfit and his coat. Just the look on his face. Like, he whipped off of that, and I was like, oh my god, he hated it. And <laughs> then he's just, he sits there and he looks at it. He's like, oh, I want one. When this is over, I want one. Say it with a British accent. I want one. I want one. He said it with a British accent. I didn't. I did not. Oh, Don, you did not hurt, sound like it. No. It, it, Sorry, Dom. I know you attempted. No, I, I, no. I can't even do accents. I wouldn't even dare try. Um, <laughs> oh, I love, oh man, I've heard you some of them. Yeah, they're they're not good. They're definitely not good. But uh, yeah, so when they got off the motorcycle, whatever they went, they interrupted the the binding ritual. You know, they see they saw in the dream. It almost played out exactly like it did I in the know, dream. I so. The binding of Katrina. Yes. I was like, oh my gosh. I remember we were talking, discussing that if we thought it was actually going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't surprise. Almost. But it seemed like everything that played out was like we had, you know, um, uh, Abraham didn't get Katrina. You know, it's all these little things that were were building up. And it seems like that is what won Henry over. So I don't feel like Henry did this out of um, love or redemption. I think he did it out of hatred for Moloch. I mean, maybe, but you kind of, we kind of saw in his face that, and I don't think he was lying when he said, you've never given up on me. I think he did believe. He's like, you've never given up on me. When Ichabod yeah. said that to him? Yeah, when Ichabod gave the, the whole speech about um, Moloch being the Akita, how they could sacrifice him instead yeah. of having to kill Henry. He does believe that they've never given up on him. He may still think it's a little foolish of them. Yeah, but at that point, he was still like, yeah, I'm ready to kill you still. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I think it's all it's all added up because he desperately wanted, like, a father figure. And he thought Moloch was that. Yep. And when he just totally treated him like shit, like a pawn. Yep, <laughs> you know, you're reusable. Like, Moloch sees him. You're totally replaceable. Yeah. I don't know you like a son, you fool. But... Yeah. I was calling him father the entire time. I was just waiting for Moloch to roll his eyes and be like, fucking stop that, please. I know, that would have been father. hysterical. I'm not your father. Luke, I am not your father. <laughs> I'll have no, an eternity test that's not again, you. I am not your father. Daddy? 
that's it. And that's why I think when he turned and stabbed Malik, I think too, that was replaying in his head too. That was like the worst way you could end the episode. Up on that was him. the what? That was like the worst way you could end the episode. That is the per- per- perfect way to end the episode. Yeah, I, I think so too. It leaves you on the edge. Makes you think because perfect. not only does it leave you on edge, but you have the satisfaction like, yes, he stabbed Malik, but it's also the question, is Malik dead? Like, there's all these things that are unknown. Yes. And that's but what you have the said. satisfaction of having the main bad guy stabbed in the, in the, in the abdomen. Like so. you said, it's the worst because now I have to wait two and a half months to figure that's out what the hell just happened. I'm actually perfectly okay with that. Perfect it was, It's what as makes far as cliffhangers go, it was a good one. Yes. It makes you coming back for more, hence a cliffhanger, Dom. <laughs> I don't like not frustrating. Not this. I don't. <laughs> they're bad. Okay. 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 Don't hang off cliff. So so like you said, I guess like all the questions we really have are is Moloch alive? Yeah, they that, all hinge that on needs that. to be answered first before we can even speculate about the rest of the stuff. But that's not going to stop us. Right, and so, we don't we don't have a synopsis for when it returns. We don't have that episode, so we don't even know. They, we can't even not, speculate off of anything that they're giving us. We I don't know. even we have, have a synopsis for the next one after that. I yeah. think they intentionally did that, though, because obviously they don't want to... Uh, yeah, any, we don't even have a, a, an episode title. I know. There's nothing like that. So do you guys think there's going to be, like, a, uh, a time lapse uh, between, or do you think it's going to pick up immediately? It needs to pick up immediately. It has to. Two there's days no later. Way. Or a week later. This mm-hmm. is what's happening now. Like, it can't be a long time. It can't be, like, three months later. Oh, they're all sitting there having tea. You know. Oh, the apocalypse. It can. That's it. No, it they did that before. They they have done that before. <laughs> he did that at the beginning of this season. Mm-hmm. So, it's not out of the question. No, if they do, I'll be angry. Nah. <laughs> Prepared <laughs> to be angry. Prepared. So, I, and the big question to me is, because they set all this thing up with, you know, Nick watching Abraham, is he going to fuck it up? I mean, I don't know if he's gonna fuck it up, but there's a... He doesn't have... Did, does he have an enchanted weapon like the rest of them did? Yes. Okay, I good. I think he got left an enchanted weapon. Okay, he's, good. Like, I am not staying alone with, you know... Duh. <laughs> yeah. No idiot. I don't think it's him fucking up. I think it's him getting overrun, especially if the army rises. Yeah. Yeah. So we didn't, I, we didn't see anything that happened there. So I would not be surprised to see them go back and the yeah. horseman is broken free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, that's really the only thing that they can do at this point that is going to give us a chance at having a villain. Yeah. Unless Henry still hates Ichabod and well, Katrina for some reason. Or I mean, like still alive. If we lose... I, I think it's still a possibility that, that uh, Irving could become the new war. I right. think that makes a lot more sense than anything we've said before. I think Moloch is going to be back in hell or purgatory or wherever yeah, the hell we saw him. He'll definitely be scheming up something else and, you know... Yeah, I don't think Moloch is left on Earth. You know, I believe he's back in purgatory if if he's going to be... Might have been sent back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then again, who knows? Yeah. yeah. Um, you guys have anything yeah. else? I mean, I, I actually was going to look this up, but there, there's no, like we said, there's no synopsis for the next episode. Nope. There's a synop- no, there's a title. There is a title for the episode after that. It is Pitura Infamante, and I just wanted to look up what that meant. All right. Okay. I know it's Latin. <laughs> Pat, Michelle, you yeah. guys have anything else while she's doing that? What do you think? Defaming Portrait. Yeah. Family portrait. Uh-oh. Oh, the baby portrait. Ooh. I there. Three months. <laughs> it's called the family portrait or defaming family? portrait. Oh, defaming. defaming. Oh, okay. Defaming. Okay, I thought I heard that. defaming portrait. Mm. Something about family. No. Something I... about Renaissance Italy. Interesting. Interesting. I know. Maybe they're bringing in another point of history, <laughs> going for the back in colonial America. Maybe I don't know. Or there's well, no, because if it's French or that. anything like that, keep in mind French and Indian War mm, yeah. going on around the same the time. 
You know, right, it's... but also don't forget they brought in Greek mythology kind of to this yes. too. So yeah, there's a whole like you could um, think of anything. It seems like How Templar great. Mason sort of subculture right. here. Yeah, yep. which definitely uh, went through Italy. Yep. Mm-hmm. I agree. Do you think? Do you think we're gonna see like some of those Indiana Jones relics ever on the show, like the the Holy Grail or the Ark of the Covenant, anything? I like mean, that? we got like a. A nod to the Holy Grail with the way that the sword was presented. Right. Well, we got a nod to the Indiana Jones Holy Grail. Yes, yes, sorry. <laughs> Indiana Jones Holy Grail. I, maybe, because those are religious slash, um... Templar artifacts. Templar-ish artifacts, so... Yeah. Templar -ish. Oh, definitely Templar, because the, the... Ark of the Covenant was a Templar thing. Yep. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I would like I would like to see some of that stuff. It. You know, I know. The, uh, really, I would like to see didn't we see the Rosetta Stone? Hmm? Or, we um, saw. Ros I think we saw like a not the Rosetta Stone, but like a something similar to it. A tab, a tablet with translations. Right. Yeah, that was when. Uh, um, that was when they were faking the drug ring. Right. Hmm. That they really? were busting in. No, uh, yeah. Abby was busting in, mm -hmm. and they were saying that it was a drug ring or something oh, like that. Oh, that's right, with the guys. And that's the when uh, yeah. we finally have uh, Captain Reyes on Team Witness. Oh, we, yeah, 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 yeah. Reyes, finally. We haven't seen her in a few episodes no. now. No? Well, she doesn't really need to be. It's like, oh, you can run on your own. Right now. Yeah, but we have all this stuff going on. We have raining blood hail and you know the dead rising and she's just oblivious to all this she very well might be in the next episode well i mean this is also happening in the middle of the woods if no one's around here and nobody calls the police the, they'll just chalk it up to weird weather the blood hail was at a bar that wasn't exactly in the middle of the woods yeah but i mean the the zombies right now are all in the woods yeah that we've seen the zombies? but i actually want to bring up they know the apocalypse is happening, and still they're being, in the beginning of the episode, they're being really coy about stealing a motorcycle. I'm like, you are a cop. Yeah. Go, I'm commandeering this vehicle. Bye. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, really. That's all they had to do. I love that when the car just stopped. She's like, yeah. no, no. Um, I'm just going to borrow this real quick, you know. She's like, flash no. Flash your badge. As, yeah, soon as, as soon as he saw Ichabod with the map, and then Abby's like... You know, oh, well, we, I have GPS. As soon as I, that came out of her mouth, I go, yep, that's about to die. Yeah. <laughs> and sure enough. So, of course. Yeah. I don't know. I can't wait. Oh, I really, I'm in, I'm in the boat with Pat. I can't wait the two and a half months. I can't do I it. Know. can't do it. There's so much that can happen, and there's so yeah. much. Oh, I'm, I'm going to march down to Fox it. Studios right now and demand to, to watch the episode. Okay, Sheldon. <laughs> oh, bang. Yeah, remember the the episode of that one where uh, his show gets canceled after the first season? Yep. And then he calls the writer to figure out how the rest of the season's going to go and he goes, no wonder why it got canceled. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we love the Big Bang Theory. It's, yeah. it's a good show. It's a good show. Hey, I gotta throw crossovers everywhere, you know? Yes. Right. Certainly all my shows go crossover. So, uh, yeah, is that about it? You guys have anything else? Can't wait. Yeah, I really... It's like, oh my god. Ichabod's gonna be the new American badass. He's gonna be riding a motorcycle everywhere he goes now. I can't What's wait. He now? better be riding that in the next episode. <laughs> He's like, where's... Yes, I understand I hold on to you, but where's the seatbelt? You don't, you don't have one. <laughs> There's none. She, I was waiting for her to say, you've ridden horses before. Come on. Right. Well, didn't he ask to go to the stables or something? <laughs> no, I'm completely fine seeing Ichabod in like leather with a bandana and all that. I would be, I'd be completely fine with that. But if he's riding his motorcycle down the road and Limp Biscuits rolling his plane, I'm done. I'm done. And and, and he has a heart uh, tattoo on his arm that says uh, Henry in it. Oh come on! <laughs> no, no, we're gonna go with the uh, Kid Rock. I'm an American badass. American Come on. Cleo, where can the people find you? On that note. Find me singing terrible Kid Rock songs at Cleo Moto. 
Uh, oh, I totally blundered this up. I didn't put Pat and Michelle's lower third. Michelle! I Pat, spoiled it. Pat Michelle, where can the people find oh. you? At Michelle, or as of right now, just time and space because we're floating around because Don forgot our lower third. It's there. Interesting, Cleo. It's there, it's Pat. there, Pat. It's there. You can find them there, for sure. We're an American band. You can find me down below at Phenomenon, P H E N O M E D O M. You do. I'm an American band. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I'm the rest of the lyrics and I can't. It's not about coming to your land. Yeah. You can also find us. To your town. You can We're also find us on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Gmail, G, Twitter, Tinder, <laughs> Space. And uh, right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. <laughs> Till, uh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Until whenever the hell this show comes back. <laughs> February. See you guys later. Peace out, please. Yeah, that was awesome. Yay.